It's Basketball GM, folks. This is day two of Basketball GM here with the Boston Bear Pile. We played an entire season of this on Saturday, and it went great. I had a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, it's just a basketball management simulator. We've got a basketball team here of 15 players, uh, and we are going to be simulating their season, making trades, watching our uh, team finances over here, making sure that we don't go broke. We're going to be following individual players' careers. It's fun. And of course, you can probably tell here, if you've uh, looked at the names, those aren't normal names. We've been naming people after chat. So if you'd like to be a part of it, stick around. We'll roll the dice here on a couple of these guys. And uh, more than likely add a couple of new names to the roster today. I really thought it would be fun to name... Uh, players individual players more after our friends as well because we've got chib of course because he's the guy from new zealand i thought that'd be a lot of fun too but for now we'll stick with the uh the chat members for the roster so without further ado let's do it let's hop back into basketball gm baby we got season two underway the 2022 preseason is here so we rolled the dice on our stats last time and uh got really lucky with a couple of players and fortunate with a couple of others vasco as you can see took a minus four so that's a bit of a, a bit of a bummer. Vinky dropped five as well. But Jimbo. Oh, baby. Jimbo JJ26, dude. We had him flagged because he's looking like he's a really solid prospect. And boy, howdy, did he take a boost this year. Plus 12 strength. Plus 10 from the mid-range. Dribbling, passing, and rebounding each took a small boost. This guy, uh, we were looking for him to improve his scoring, and he improved his scoring dramatically. So I think he's going to be a significant tr contributor this year. Absurd Theory got even better, who was our best player last year. 69 at the three still, so that's nice. Insanely good on the inside with the dunks and the layups at 83. So he's still going to be making a significant uh, impact. And then Catfish Arbiter. Is a really solid uh, young player for us as well. He was pick 45 in the draft, dude. Damn. Got some deep value there. Another guy really good on the inside. Scoring better too this year. So it's looking like our young guys are improving quite a bit. And again, you'll notice that we've got a pretty young team still. 24, 23, and 24-year-olds on the starting lineup. So this is going to be building into something even better. Not to mention Anthony down here in the low end of the bench took a big boost for his first year so he's looking like he's going to be promising too trade Voss and vine for a new point guard make a push for the chip we do have an abundance of big men and we don't have that many yeah we've only got uh two point guards and two shooting guards at the moment we got four centers and a whole bunch of forwards it wouldn't be a bad idea especially because trey williams took a pretty big dip this year and he was a center that we signed last year too that was kind of unnecessary what free agents do we got? Oh, dude, Mike Williams would be great. A 53-58 with a three ball. Ooh, he's so good at shooting. Holy shit. He's tiny, though. 6'1". He's my size. It's like if I tried to play in the NBA. He's a very good shot. He wants four and a half million a year. We're at 97 million in cap. Let's have a look here. If we trade, if we trade Vinky and Electric Craft Dinner, that would be giving up two younger players that could potentially get better. But they both took big dips this year. Electric, I know. I'm sorry. You just got such a big contract. Eight and a half mil. We'll be getting, getting a 53 on the board, man. Especially because. Well, hold on, though. What? How tall are you? 6'8". Vinky is 6'7". Hmm. I don't know, man. It is... It's heartbreaking to ever want to consider getting rid of our guys, you know? We want to keep them around. We want to... Well, I want to give them a chance at least one more year. Let's give them one more year to improve. Because look at this. I mean, like, we're still middle of the pack. Trading those two away to add one guy off free agency. Honestly, it might even make us a little worse. So, I say we probably just go ahead and stick with our squad for now. 
Dude, this is still a very concerning aspect of this. Look at the the back end of the power rankings. We're in the bottom five for everything. Offensive and defensive IQ are abysmal. Our dribbling, passing, and rebounding are so bad. We really got to bump that up. That's another thing that, again, hopefully is going to be addressed by the players just getting older as we go. Anyway, I don't think we need to make any offseason plays this year. Let's go ahead and send up the regular season, and uh, we'll watch our first game. As is, I think we got to make that a tradition. We got to watch the first game of every season. And it's against the Pittsburgh Josh, who this year, it turns out, are the best team in the league. We ran into them in the playoffs last year, and they were pretty formidable, but they got way better. Look at this fucking squad now. Jonathan Sigler is scary good. 77 82. Just across the board, nuts. Very good player. You got Alex Lewis, the 23-year-old, who's really coming up quick. Yeah, it's uh, he's got a scary squad. That's a nice headshot, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and play this first game here. Jimbo won the jump ball. Let's go. Starting off the season on a good note. It's the Pittsburgh Josh versus the Boston Bear Pile, baby. Game one, season two. Let's do it. Absurd hits his first three. Love to see it. Now, I can't decide if I want to watch the entire first game or if I want to just go with quarter simulations like we've been doing before. I think I probably just want to do that. Hey, you even start. 29 to 29 to begin with. I wanted to check my box score for my guys down here, too. That's why I scrolled down so far. Catfish Arbiter. Four for four from the game to begin with. A couple of turnovers, but that's okay. Nine points. Absurd. Two for seven so far. Not the strongest start in the world. We're turning the ball, ball over quite a bit, unfortunately, in the first quarter. But 29-29, even Stevens, baby. 56-56. Holy cow. We cannot be more evenly matched. Jonathan Sigler's having a big game already. Ten points to go with six assists and three boards. Nick Pell is contributing heavily, too, with 17 points. Vasco with 11. Absurd going 3 of 12 to start today, unfortunately. Not the greatest start for him, but Jimbo, dude. Jimbo. This right here, man. If this guy can just be like a walking triple-double, that's a max contract right there. That's that's we, we keep him around for the long haul. This is Those are some beautiful stats right there. Seven points, six boards, five assists. Twelve points for Arbiter. Still perfect on the game from the floor. And Electric Craft Dinner has four points off the bench. Five assists for Mike Rowe. Again, dude, Mike. Mike has been killer off the bench. Continuing his success from last year. Oh, and there goes the Pittsburgh Josh. Pulling away in the third. 11-point lead here. Nick Pell, 12 of 15 from the floor for the game. Two blocks, 32 points. Good Lord. Vasco with 20 points. Catfish Arbiter with 16 on the game. An insanely good performance for them today. The plus minus not looking great for everybody, though. Mike continuing to be a significant presence off the bench. Pawn Broker with no points, unfortunately, this game on 13 minutes played. Are you playing basketball, GM, or filing your taxes? Yes. Final two minutes. All of a sudden, the bear pile pulls back ahead. But Max Villalba slams it home for the Josh. Mike Rowe responds immediately, but Villalba has a shot again. Vasco turns the ball over. Bryce Thompson tur turns it over in return. Catfish up for the shot and brings it home. But John Jonathan Sigler answers with a three. Catfish answers with a three of their own. And it's 113-112 bear pile. Alex Lewis misses the three-pointer. Nocturnal emulator grabs the rebound. Mike Rowe bricks a three. And Pittsburgh has it back with the attempt to lay it up. And it's good. Up by one. But Nocturnal emulator responds immediately. Jonathan Sigler can't hit the shot. Attempts a three at the end. It rims out, and that's the end of the game. Bear pile by one for the first W of the season, baby. Somehow outlasts the performance from Nick Pell. 12 of 17 from the floor. It's not enough. 32 points. Cannot get it done for the Josh. The bear pile takes it, baby. Let's go. Big upset to start off there, man. That's the kind of stuff you love to see. Absurd theory. Dude, Nocturnal ended up making... Yeah, that was the game-winning basket. Nocturnal emulator starting off on a good note. Yeah, this is a lot of fun, isn't it? It's so good for me. Mike Rowe, six points, nine assists. That's a nice. Yeah, the turnovers, that's a 
big concern there. 22 turnovers on the game. That sucks. Vasco with seven on their own. Oof. Oof. We'll have to work on that. All right. We won at home against the Josh, but uh, how do we fare on the road against the Josh? Let's find out. That'll be, uh, yeah, no, a different story. <laughs> 20 point defeat against the Josh on the road. That's, yeah, that's, that's about what we expect. Eight of 26 from three that game. That's pretty tough. Man. Again, we're getting that democratic process on the offense, man. That's, I think we can continue to expect that. Jimbo may be a little bit more of a presence on offense. But no one's really good enough individually, besides maybe absurd theory, to be that hard carry that we uh, that we sometimes see. This is AI, Josh, not actual Josh. Right. Anyway, let's go ahead and simulate a week or so here. We'll see how we do. Oof. Started strong. Went off on another losing streak. Very similar to the beginning of last season, actually. Four and five to start. That's pretty tough. Picked up a W against the Wolf of Bells. Headed over to Memphis and beat the Streaks. And then we uh, took a W from the Portland Pauses at home. Went on the road to the Tokyo Corys. And I suppose the jet lag got to us. Lost by one. That's tough. The, uh, the Seattle Skadges also took us down by seven, unfortunately. Well, that's a close game as well. The losses have been close, thankfully. We've only lost by seven at most. Every loss has been close. Down six to the co-stars. The Bavs beat us by seven in San Diego. All right, then. Let's take a peek at the free agency board again. Mike Williams is still up there. Oh, we can get Jerry Leonard for the vet minimum. Huh. 53-53. That's probably worth it. I think I might need to drop... Hmm. Who do I get rid of here? I could get rid of Joshua Foster. You can trade me, Barry. Yeah, I kind of want to. <laughs> oh, I can't trade you. Oh, I just signed you. That's right. Yeah, we actually can't trade you yet. Cannot trade recently acquired player for four more games. All right, so I got to wait a week to be able to trade you. Let's just go ahead and sim another week then. More, oof, more L's. More L's this week. Took a loss to the Soul Cates by six. Beat the Wolves by three. The co-stars beat us again. Actually managed to take down the Bebs. The best boys kicked the shit out of us, dude. <laughs> lost by 21. And then we lost by 22 to the streaks. Yikes. Oof. Not doing so hot this year, man. How's everybody performing so far? We're getting... Getting what we expected out of absurd. 23 points per game. Seven boards. Jimbo's just... Oh, my goodness, man. That is just fantastic. If Jimbo can improve his shot, if Jimbo can just continue to improve that shot, we've got ourselves a superstar right here, man. Superstar in the making. We just need to keep seeing improvement. All right. I think we got to make a play here. We got to make a move. Let's see if we can get any trade proposals for Electric Craft Dinner. So looking at these, what we're looking for for the most part is trying to trade with folks who actually have the payroll space. If you see the offer pop up with this red sentence here, it means that they're over the cap, so they can't actually made, make this trade until you adjust it to the point where they're underneath the payroll again or that you've traded equal amounts nearly. So these guys, for example, the Washington Wolfabells, they're looking like a viable option, although unfortunately... We don't necessarily want to take Garrett Payne. Especially because, yeah, he's dropping. So we're probably just going to do this. Let's see if they'll give us a second rounder. Now, I don't take personal offense to this electric craft dinner, but I, I might literally give you away for nothing. <laughs> if they don't want to give me a second rounder, 
Oh, they do. Oh, good. Okay. That's pretty good. That's certainly better than giving you away for nothing. <laughs> Dan Cambit. 29 months on the pile. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, no, this is a good trade. We got to do this trade. Two, two seconds for Electric Craft Dinner. That's... uh. That eight and a half million dollar contract, man, it's just too expensive right now. We gotta, we gotta make some space on the books. So, take it easy, buddy. Have fun over on the Washington Wolf of Bells. We'll follow your career with great interest. All right, there he goes. There he goes. Now, we still need to make some more space for Mike. You love this. I'm glad to hear it, Slowpoke. Mike's gone. Gecker! Another 15 gifted. Big old bear hugs, please. Thank you so much for another gift sub bomb. Appreciate it a lot. Welcome on into the pile, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You done been gecked. No, there's not really like in-game strategies like that, unfortunately, right? It doesn't get that in-depth with it. Maybe it will in the future. So apparently... Mike's gone. The guy that I, the, the free agent I wanted to get. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't bother checking the free agency board again, I don't think. Or maybe I was thinking about, no, that's right. No, I just wanted to get Jerry Leonard. That's right, because we wanted to make space for him. So there we go. That's all we had to do. Jerry Leonard's on the, on the team. A 53, and you know what? That's a good enough player. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, rename that sucker. Let's do it. Let's do our first raffle drawing. Because he's going to see some serious playtime, dude. So we're going to archive this giveaway. Clear that out. And all he got to do is type pick me in the chat right now. It's all one word. P-I-C-K-M-E. And you will be eligible to be chosen as a new member of the squad. We'll rename Jerry Leonard after your uh, chat username. Right, now, uh, now, Electric KD, you are legally required to go watch Wolfabell now instead of being here since I traded you to her team. So, bye. <laughs> Again, all one word. Pick me in the chat if you'd like to be considered. And we'll get this uh, new member of the roster renamed after you. All right, here we go. Oh, that's so fucking perfect. That could not be better. Literally could not be a better name. Large Big Man. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Thank you, Large Big Man, for entering into the drawing and welcome into the squad. Oh, I really, I really hope that your career takes off. You are 33 years old, unfortunately, so it's unlikely. But, <laughs> God, that's great. All right, good. Well, we've made an improvement here. Let's sim another week. Starting off with the Tampa game. W's, baby, there we go. Large big man immediately making an impact. 10 points a game. And we pick up f uh, four dubs to two losses. Let's go. Let's go. Turn it around. Oh, Jimbo's injured, though. Shit. Sprained his ankle. Thankfully, he didn't lose any uh, stat points from that. But, uh, yeah, he'll be, he'll be fine. He'll be okay. You know what? This is actually a great opportunity to take a look at the team finances. And we should see how we're spending money here. We haven't really looked at this yet because of the first season. It doesn't matter too much. So, there's a couple things you want to look at on this screen. There's a couple things that don't really matter. The things that don't matter are in here. You don't really need to pay any, any attention to these middle bars. Those, I don't really care about those. But uh, what we do care about is the hype and the average attendance over here, along with the uh, expense settings on this side. Average attendance caps out at 25000 So if you're hitting 25000 attendance at any point, that means that you should be selling your tickets at a higher price because you can be uh, profiting better that way. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to raise these ticket prices to, let's say, $62 per ticket, which now puts us at a league-wide rank of number one. But that seems fine because we're Boston. You know, Boston's going to sell expensive tickets. I don't think that really matters too much. And now we got to look at these four things. So going down the list here, scouting, uh, 
They're supposed to be, yeah, it says click the question mark above what they do, but those don't show up. Anyway, I'll just tell you. Scouting uh, impacts the uh, accuracy of your uh, your projections for the player's upcoming contracts as well as their upcoming uh, stats, including uh, free agency players. You just It, it gives you a better idea of uh, how good they're going to be. Question mark next to the expense settings. Oh, this. Duh. There you go. Now I don't have to remember. <laughs> Scouting controls the accuracy of display player ratings. Coaching better coaches means better player development. Health, a good team of doctors, speeds recovery from injuries. And facilities, better training facilities make your players happier and other players envious. Stadium renovations increase attendance. So there you go. That's all. That's all what that means. So we're going to spend a little bit more on health. Because we like to be able to recover from injuries quickly. And we're also going to spend a bunch more on coaching. A whole shitload more. In fact, like, way more. 30 million a year. Because having good coaching is just fantastic. It just means your younger players develop better. And the only uh, downside of that is, of course, going to be that we have to make enough money to compensate for the extra spending on coaching. But that shouldn't be a big issue. Especially because we're at maximum attendance right now, so we should be okay. So as long as we keep our hype up and our attendance up, We'll be, make, we'll be making money, and we'll be able to afford these uh, extra expenditures. So there we go. Let's sim another week. Okay, we're getting better. Keep in mind we didn't have Jimbo for four of those games, too, so it's kind of expected that we'll probably lose him. And yeah, we're doing a lot better now that we've got the full squad. So we got a full-strength squad going up against the Wolf Bells this game, and we dominated. Totally dominated. Poor Electric Craft Dinner over there. Sorry to say, there's no more room in the inn. Large big man, though, dude. Look at this. 13 points off the bench. What a good signing. Actually playing more minutes than Mike at this point. Might be taking minutes away from Mike. But, you know, if it works, it works. All right, good stuff. Let's do another week. Ah, oh, boy. We're just... We're just middle of the freaking pack, aren't we, dude? We are middle of the road, and that is not good. We can still make the playoffs. But we'll be a low seed. I'm kind of thinking about, yeah, maybe we could... Because we haven't hit the trade deadline yet. Tell you what. Maybe we sim until the trade deadline. And if we're still 50-50 at that point... Well, then again, no, that might be it might be too late at that point. I think if we want to invest in a higher draft pick, well, let's take a look actually at the future draft scouting and see what we can get. Oh, that's a good class. Wow, that's a really good draft class. There's a lot of really good players there. Ooh, boy, we might want to tank. Yeah, that's looking really good. Even if you get down to like the 12th pick, he's still really good. He's still really solid. Hmm, good point guards. Yeah, a whole bunch of good point guards in this draft. We need that, too. Oh, boy, we might need to tank, dude. Basketball's draft lottery, yeah, so we're not, like, we're not guaranteed to be able to get a higher pick by tanking, but, you know, to an extent we are. Um, so if we were going to do that, we would probably trade absurd. We'd definitely trade absurd if we were going to do that because he's 29 years old and our best player, best, most valuable player. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Am I going to do that? Let's have a look and see what we can get for him. Because if we can get, like, a first-round pick... Yeah, for sure, Cho. Just ping me a reminder real quick. If we can get a first for him from a team that has like a decent offering Captain Clutch I know hey yeah they got a, force, a first from San Diego what's San Diego's first looking like San Diego's ah San Diego's way up there but what year is that that's next year that's a pick next year next year's class is looking pretty good too but San Diego's probably still going to be pretty good oh boy Oh, boy. 
Portland's over the salary cap too. They'd have to trade away some garbage to me. They'd have to like give me Ricky Miller or something, which is probably fine. In fact, they might just do that. Yeah, this deal would work. They would actually take this trade, which is. Oh boy, do we have to think about this? I think we have to think about this seriously here. Because we can just dump off Ricky Miller. Obviously, we're not going to keep him. We don't want a $30 million 50. That's, that's pretty crappy. It's all about the pick right now. And it's a bad pick, too. I don't know, man. This just doesn't feel good. Because Absurd Theory went up in stats this year. He could still be getting better. But we're just so middling right now. We've got to do something. This, this isn't working as it stands. <sighs> yeah, the bad teams won't want to trade their picks, right? Hmm. There's no one in free agency, right? Favon Spir Spiropolis. That is an incredible name, at least. At least he's got that going for him. Oh man, he's five foot nine. What the hell? I want to sign that guy just for that alone. Sorry, Joshua Foster. I'll pay your salary. I gotta sign the five foot nine guy. I need him. Can I? Can I? No. Okay. Just give me this one, okay? Because we have large big man and now we have tiny short man. <laughs> I have to, just just for that one guy. All right, good. Let's do another, oh geez, do we just do another week? I guess so, all right. It's more of the same, dude. We just keep splitting, this, splitting the weeks. Damn it. Yo, Tiny Short Man's actually playing minutes. He's getting in there, dude. Three teams in three years. Yeah, that's not too surprising when he's five foot nine. Oh, goodness, dude. Can we beat the Martins? No, we can't. Can we beat the Chantels? We can by 30 somehow. That doesn't make any sense. What about the co stars? Nope. What about the Hafus? Yep. It's just dead fucking center, dude. We are in the exact middle of the league. Oh, and that sucks. <laughs> it's like it's like the worst place you can be. The absolute worst place you can be. We're right on the goddamn cusp of the playoffs. Oh, son of a bitch. Like, if we can beat Martin in this game... And we lost! Son of a bitch! But what, watch, we'll beat the Chantels again, I bet. Yeah. Oh, man. This is on, uh, this is online, Jakey. This is a browser-based game you can play for free. Just Google Basketball GM. Are you sure it's not just coin flips? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, man. Ugh. I gotta do something. I'm gonna go to the trade deadline. Oh. <laughs> okay, good. Didn't realize. Well. Hmm. God damn it. It's... We're in the same situation, man. It's not any better. It's probably worse because no one wants to trade now. Ah. Uh. Oh shit. Hmm. It's the Wolves first though, which is not great. And they got, yeah, they got Chib, too, who's only getting better. Like, these picks are going to be low picks. But it is two firsts. 
and Cameron Hansen, who we can probably get some value out of. Like we'll be able to trade him to a low team for a second at least or something like that. Ah, oh, boy. That's true. We can trade the picks, too, at some point. It's so fucking fun for me for you guys to be into this, dude. <laughs> it's usually just me. It's usually just me sitting here with my brain like, yeah, what do we do about this? But now you guys are like bouncing ideas off me. And I'm like, yeah, that is a good idea. Um, You okay being on Jay's team? That seems like a good destination, right? I mean, you're going to pick up some championships, I bet, over there, dude. Can't be too upset about that. We're tanking over here. You don't want to play in a fucking tanking team. Come on, you're too good for that. Dude, let's do it. I'm going to do this trade. Oh, they'll give me Antoine Hart, too. Oh, he sucks, though. Yeah, never mind. All right, let's do it. That works. We're tanking, boys. We're tanking. Let's, let's, let's pick up them L's. Two firsts? What? What? Hold on. Two firsts from the fucking Chantels for him. No way. They just don't have any damn cap space for it is the problem. Varanus. 13 months on the pile. Thank you very much. Welcome back in. I mean, the Babs are at 90 million. Maybe they can do it. No, they just have to... I don't think we can make this work. Honestly, I don't even know if we can get rid of Cameron Hansen, Hansen right now. Because it's very unlikely that any teams have... Yeah, no one's got the cap space for it. Denver would be the closest thing to it, but I don't think they're even going to be able to do it. Yeah, they want to give me Andrew Morrison. They would have to give me, like, Nanad as well. Which they might actually do, especially because he's injured. And then at that point, maybe I'd be able to... Well, I guess I could just keep these two players and we could tank and then I can worry about trading them in the offseason. It'll be a lot easier that way. Yeah, Cameron's contract sucks. That's why we're trying to get rid of him right now. I don't want to be paying him $30 million a year to be, to be middling, you know? Uh, let's see. Yeah, they would do this deal. I don't want to give them Z-Man, though. Oh, look at just contract expires this year. That's a good point. Well, that's a lot easier to deal with, too, then. Okay. And then Andrew Morrison, is he... No, he's going minus, but that's probably still okay. I might keep him around for a minute. This is probably a decent deal. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, of course, right now, we mostly want to get rid of Cameron Hampson so we can make the team worse, too, which is, you know, not normally what we're looking for yeah I was, I was just i was thinking about that too actually maybe they'll maybe they'll give us a second along with all this let's see if they'll do that they'll give us a second if we give them vinky santa bomb nine months on the pile thank you very much welcome on back in i don't think that's a good deal we shouldn't do that that's not very good we'll just take this deal oh they want me to give them a second don't they that's what they were doing they need Mike? No, you're not getting Mike. Fuck that. Here, you can have this second rounder from Washington. How about that? Because I think mine are going to be more useful. Yeah, let's just do that one. There we go. Okay, we got it. Good. Now we got to release somebody. This will probably just be uh, Fisher, I suppose. Yeah, we'll just release Fisher. I'm going to have to pay his contract. Actually, see if I can get anybody to just take him off my hands real quick. Second rounder. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Easy. I was just going to get rid of him. Cool. All right. Well, there we go. Oh, I guess I could have released Trey, too. Yeah, that would have been a good choice. Oh, well. All right. We're tanking. We've got... We've got a much worse team. Hooray for becoming shittier so we can become OP later. Exactly. Biding our time. All right. So now we're hoping for losses. Now now we're hoping to lose basically the remainder of our game. So let's expect Ws. Yep, there's a winning week. All right. 
Oh, Nocturnal sprained his knee. Perfect. That'll probably help. There we go. Five straight losses, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's keep seeing that. All right. Not a bad week. Not a bad week. How are we doing on the standings now? The, yo, okay. We're actually able to... We've got a chance of getting one of those better picks. We got a chance. Go Pittsburgh Josh, by the way. Number one seed. All right. Another week. Hey, there's some more losses, baby. Picked up a couple of W's in the beginning. That's okay. Jimbo just couldn't help himself. Had to fucking pop off. Jimbo's, yeah, he's he's still trying. Bless his heart. He's still killing it. Not the rest of us, though. Nocturnal's out for the next eight, which is nearly the rest of the season, so that's going to be great. All right. Keep going. Oh, baby, that's what I'm talking about. 35 and 43. Incredibly even points per game across the top six. Yeah, that's all that democracy, dude. That's what we're talking about. That's what happens when your team is talentless. <laughs> and there we go, baby. Bottom of the barrel. For the uh, East, at least. Dude, the Western Conference is terrible. Holy shit. Look, the, the Portland pauses are six seed at 38 and 40. Good Lord. All right. We'll go to the end here, I think. Babs and Bebs at number one. That's fucking wonderful. <laughs> I didn't even think about that when we were making the team names. That's so good. Oh, I really hope we get a Babs Bebs final, dude. That'd be amazing. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, 463 record making the playoffs is pretty un pretty unreal. Soul at 36 and 42 at the eighth seed. All right. Anyway. 36 and 46. Okay, so we ended up near the bottom of the Eastern Conference there. I'd say, given the start of the season, that was a fairly successful tank attempt. Not to mention we didn't lose any money that year. We actually still made a profit. The hype has gone down considerably, unfortunately. In fact, I think we need to drop the prices again so we can get people back in the, back in the seats. But anyway, let's watch the playoffs real quick. We'll simulate this so we can see what happens. First round, uh, the San Diego Babs versus the Soul Cates, the Austin Apollos versus the Christchurch Chibs, the Drax against the Skadges, the Phoenix Chantels take on the Portland Pauses, the Co-Stars versus the Streaks, the Wolves against the uh, Crendors, the Buff Doors. Did we call them the Buff Doors? No, we just called them the Crendors. The Toronto Bebs take on the Sydney, uh, the Sydney Indies, and the Pittsburgh Josh against the Montreal Martin. First round. The Babs versus the Apollos. The Chantel. Oh, it's a rematch of last year. The Chantels versus the Drax. Coming back to it again in the Western Conference semis. Cleveland Co-Stars will take on the New Jersey Wolves in the semifinals on the other side. And then the Pittsburgh Josh. Ooh, we got a hot one here. The Pittsburgh Josh taking on the Toronto Bebs. The battle of the best buds who will come out on top. Let's simulate the semis. The Babs have no problem with the Apollos. The Chantels get their revenge over the Drax and move on to the finals in the Western Conference in an epic seven-game series. The Cleveland Co-Stars manage to take out the Wolves in six, and the Josh sweep the Bebs. Sweep the Bebs. Oof. No contest. Josh had more trouble with the Martins than they had with the Bebs. This is going to be San Diego and Phoenix. The Babs and the Chantels versus the Co-Stars and the Josh. The Chantels making a strong start here in the uh, the Bear Taffy League. Making the Western Conference Finals the first two seasons. Let's see if they can manage to uh, improve upon their performance from last year. Win the first game. The Co-Stars take game one in the East. Co-Stars with a two-game lead. The Chantels win the second game as well. Two games up over the ba over the Babs. And they haven't even played at home yet. Oh, but the Babs take the game on the road there as well. Cleveland Co-Stars up 3-0 over the Josh. The Josh come back. And the Chantels up now 3-1 in the series. Can't close it out, though. Both series will go to game six as the Josh managed to take another one. And the Babs snag their uh, game five at home. Game six now. Phoenix playing at home. 
Can't wrap it up. Both series going to game seven. Oh my goodness. San Diego Babs going up to game seven against the Phoenix Chantels. The co-stars playing game seven against the Josh. Cleveland blowing a 3-1 lead again. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. All right. Who's it going to be? Oh, the co-stars do end up taking out the Josh. But the Phoenix Chantels, they improve upon their performance from last year and manage to make the finals. Two seven-game series to get to the finals for Phoenix. Very impressive stuff. All right. And the winner's going to be game one. Goes to Cleveland. You know who I'm rooting for. Game two goes to Phoenix. Game three goes to Phoenix. Game four goes to Phoenix. We got to watch game five live. Could the Phoenix Chantels win the chip for season two of the Bear Taffy Basketball GM League? They're up by seven for the start of the third. Halftime lead. Oh, but the co-stars come storming back in quarter uh, in the third quarter. Starting off the fourth with a 12-point lead. Let's see how it ends up. We'll go to the final two minutes. The co-stars up by six. All right. Cleveland has the ball. They take another shot. It's good. All right, up by eight. This is pretty much going to seal the deal, it looks like. Cleveland's going to have to, yeah, they were going to have to make some plays early and often. Oh, it's George Savage, dude. Or, sorry, Phoenix was going to have to make some plays early and often. I forgot they have George Savage on their team. Five blocks, four steals, 23 rebounds. Nine offensive boards. Holy shit, this guy is good. No wonder they're making the finals. Damn. All right, wow. The Cleveland Co-Stars do manage to take game five behind 25 from Fernando Schultz. 23 goddamn rebounds, dude. Look at these. I want to see the box scores for this fucking guy. The Phoenix Chantel's game log. What kind of numbers has he been putting up? 18 boards with six blocks, six offensive rebounds. This is in the finals, mind you. 20 boards, three blocks, two steals. That's this the guy's seven foot ten, yeah. Six blocks and 19 rebounds. Jesus Christ. It's insane. All right. Game six. End of the first. The Chantel's up by seven. End of the second. The Chantel's up by five. The third quarter is where the co-stars turn it around, though. But they didn't manage to this time. The Chantel's up by 15 to start the fourth. Final two minutes. The Chantel's up by 20. And that's all but going to do it. The Phoenix Chantels have won the second season of the Bear Taffy Basketball GM League. Let's go. Let's go. That's how I use the echo pedal. Yay, my wife won. Phoenix finally wins something. Yeah. All right. I like this, the confetti, too. It's fun. It's a fun little effect. Right. There we go. We did it. Season complete. Here's our season summary. George Savage, finals MVP, does not surprise me at all. Also won defensive player of the year that year. Ryan Dunham was the MVP. We didn't have anybody make any all-league or all-defensive teams, which I suppose is not surprising because we were tanking. <laughs> he said I wasn't a real person. <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? Very good. Let's see if we had anybody even close to coming into the award races. Dude, Mike was sixth man contention again. Hell yeah. Jimbo almost got most improved player. Well, almost is kind of a stretch. He was the sixth in the sixth in the running. Andrew Morrison actually had some rookie of the year nods, too. Cool. All right. Not bad. Not a bad year. Still too early to judge me, but I did do bad this year. I knew that much. All right, man, here we go. Ooh, it's oh, it's a little worse than I thought. I thought we'd be a little closer to this area, but we're down there. Oh, boy. Okay, so here's the draft lottery. So we mentioned last year that we care about the draft lottery if we're a shitty team. And we weren't a shitty team last year. Kind of a shitty team this year. So we're really hoping to see that top four. Otherwise, we're more than likely going to end up with 11th or 10th. But here we go. We're going to hit this button. We're going to cross all our fingers. We're going to get bare luck emotes in the chat. And we're going to really, really hope 
that it decides to give me one of these top four picks. All right. Yeah, third to last in the conference, but nine teams ahead of you in the pick lottery. Yeah, that's how goddamn bad the Western Conference was this year. Here we go. Bear luck time. Let's do it. Go. And this is us. Right in the middle. Come on. Skip by it. Skip by it. Oh, damn it. All right. We got 10th. Dude, it skipped the next one. It skipped the very next team. I bet they're going to get first pick. They got second pick. Ah, come on. God damn it. Second pick to the very next freaking team, dude. All right. Oh, we got 10th. We got 10th. Still pretty good pick. 10th is pretty good. Especially with this draft class. This is an insanely good draft class. All right, man. Well, now it's left for us to, de to decide whether or not we want to uh, try to trade up. So let's, let's take a big analytical look at all this. Isn't Las Vegas the Chubbs? No, that's the Hafus. I don't think we ended up giving Chubbs a team, did we? Which is a little disappointing. We would have been able to root for Chubbs. Oh, dude, look at the Hafus. They got Neil McCoy. That guy is nuts. He's looking like he's going to be really good. Yeah, it's probably going to be a point guard. So let's go ahead and highlight all the point guards first. So we've got... Maybe apart from Brantley, who's not that good, we've got six point guards that we could select that I'd be fairly happy with. So I don't think we need to trade up, actually. Because I would imagine that... Uh, that the other teams are probably going to go for size first. Like, Rodians is gone. There's no chance I'm getting that guy. Uh, chance Rice will probably go before Steve Jones. So I think we can probably roll the dice on this. Yeah, I think at least one of these guys is going to fall to 10th. So let's do it. Okay, Maxwell's gone. That's not surprising at all. He's the best. He's the best point guard on the board for sure. Honestly, yeah, he probably should be the number one pick. Okay, so he's gone. Preston Martin. That's an interesting choice. Okay. There goes Rodians. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. All right, so we're really hoping that either Donnie Batchelor or John Garrett somehow makes it down to me. I'd take Eric Carney, too, honestly. I'd, I'd very happily take Eric Carney. All right, he's gone. Well, it's Ryan Brantley. What a weird pick. Okay, that's a gamble. All right, come on, John Garrett. Ah, shit. Hmm, that's a fucking reach down there, dude. Yeah. All right, it's probably going to be Steve Jones. If even that, hopefully he's still on the board. Come on. Okay. Hey, there we go. Good. All right, so now we choose between Steve Jones and Ben Stanton. Or James Jensen, actually. Hold on, I didn't even look at James Jensen. He's a fucking 100 speed. What the hell? Holy cow. He might be really good. He's a guard, yeah. I'm going to take that guy. I think I'm going to take that guy. Yeah, he's better. He's only 19, too. Dude. Dude. <laughs> I didn't even look at his face. <laughs> Draft me! I'm ready! <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's get let's get James Jensen. Sounds good. Cool. All right. That's a good draft pick, man. Awesome. Let's go ahead and send with the next pick now, because we're not picking to, like... Oh, we got a pretty good second round pick from Washington, too. Cool. Good. All right. And I should probably draft another point guard. Yeah, let's get this guy. Okay. And then... Oh, right. Yeah, of course. That's right below where I just drafted. Sure. And then this guy doesn't really matter. Okay, cool. Jimbo wants to be re-signed. Does... What? Jimbo, why? Jimbo, no! He refuses to re-sign. Because we tanked. We made him mad. He doesn't like losing. 
Ah, shit. Oh, no, Jimbo, why? Ah, yeah, yeah, I can't do anything about it. He might... So he'll go into free agency. And he'll almost certainly be signed, like, immediately. But he might not. And if he can stay on free agency for a few days, then we might still be able to get him. But he's almost certainly gone, which totally sucks. Yeah, he's going to go get that bag. Yeah, honestly, he deserves it. But I wish he was st stuck around for a couple of seasons. Oh, shit. Never mind. Bye, Jimbo. We're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna sign the MVP real quick if that's cool. <laughs> Wait, no, this is Mike's brother too. Yo, we get to get Mike's brother on the team. All right, never mind then. Bye, Jimbo. Oh, both tiny short man and large big man are up for re-signing. We gotta we gotta get both of them for sure. For sure. Oh, dude, Nanan Lukic. This dude is giving us a sixteen million dollar discount this year. $18 million discount. I'll take that, dude. Hell yeah. Fuck it. He's probably going to drop a little more this year. But he's a 55 now, so that's probably worth a million. I do have zero roster spots. We can fix that in a minute, though. I'll fix that in a sec. Okay, Darren Horton. Seven foot one. Otherwise not great. Decent rebounding. Uh, for 1.2... Yeah, you're probably worth it. He's 26. That's true. The other guy might refuse to sign as well. That's a good point, which is unfortunate. We might be able to... or We might, we might just be screwed this year just because no one wants to play with us. Which would be really unfortunate. Which I suppose is another justification to sign this contract, so... Okay. And then, I mean, we got to sign Pawnbroker, right? We can't not sign a, a, a chat person, so... There we go. Do I hear the number one pick incoming? I mean, that might help, actually. Next year, I mean, shit, we could get this guy. Who looks phenomenal. So, who knows? That'd be the way to go. Okay. So, yep, yeah, can't get Jimbo, so that's it for us in free agency. Yep, no, he won't sign. He's so uh, what? He wants to sign! I'm shocked. I was certain that when you pointed that out that he wouldn't want to sign with us. He wants to sign with us. I can't believe it. We got to do it. I got to do it. Absolutely. I'm thinking about whether or not it's a good idea because of my level of talent on the team surrounding him, but we got to go for it. If that's going to be the case... Dude, we should trade Vascro too. Because we can sign Ryan and Caleb. Ideally, we'd sign Ryan and Melvin, but Melvin doesn't want to. But he might actually. It might not take too long for him to be for him to be swayed. Caleb would be good too, though. Caleb's an all-star. Caleb's a number one pick. Hmm. Your Caleb's are all excellent basketball players. Well, that's enough for me then. Let's see what we can get out of Vascro. There's a first. A couple of firsts on the board there. From bad teams, admittedly. Drax first. Yo, the Josh want to give us a first. And they've got payroll space. Hmm. How the heck do they have payroll space? That's wild. That's not even possible. They do have to give us probably like this guy. Maybe even this guy. Nah, that's not going to work. They don't have enough. Who actually has the space to make this trade? The Ravs, the Hafus, the Martins. Let's see if... Let's see if Ryan will do this trade for me. What do you give me for Vascro? And Kendrick Koch. A second. A second in Gerald Young. That's actually not bad. That's pretty good. Hmm. 
Second in cap space. Yeah. That's not bad. Fast is going down, too. We got to keep that in mind. We are trading another point guard, though. So we got to make sure we put... Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. What position is he? Oh, he's a guard. Okay, we're good. Um... Yeah, I'm going to do that. We have fucking $60 million in cap space. That's nuts. I'm going to release Trey Williams here so we don't have him on the roster or taking up roster space. Uh, let's see. That is some beautiful cap space there, man. Yeah. I kind of want to get rid of Tiny Short Man, actually. Unfortunately. Trade Vinky for a second. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea either. What's fun about this, actually, we, we get sad, of course, about losing our named players, but it's fun because we're going to, like, we're going to propagate them out into the Bear Skitball GM League, you know? So it's like we're going to run into them in other games now, and that's going to be fun, and that's going to happen more and more and more as we add more and more chat people to it. This seems like a good deal. Let's do that. Now we got even more cap space. Now it's about the roster spots, though, that we need to fix up. Hmm. I could probably release Pawnbroker. I did just sign them, though. Oh, shit. I think I might have to drop my two picks. Check free agency for a person named Marin. Oh. oh. He's not a point guard, though. He's a center. 6'11 center. Could be good, though. Yeah, I'm just going to drop these two. That's just going to make it simpler. All right, cool. Ryan Black, welcome to the team. Now, having done that... We're already a 54. Just from just from signing Ryan Black, we're already a 54, and we still have like over 30 million in cap. That is phenomenal. Okay, and then so now it's the now it's the question of whether or not I want to take a chance on Melvin Lynn being available because we can sign Caleb now, and that's a good choice because he's a he's a definitely a good addition, kind of what we need right now. But Melvin Lynn, well, then again, Melvin Lynn did just, did just go down to four. But he's another number one pick. Imagine getting two number one picks off this free agency. Oh, Caleb's a number one pick, too. Wait, no, was the other guy number one pick? No, he's, oh, shit, he's picked 20. It's these two are the top one, or the number one picks. This guy's a year younger and five points worse, but a year younger is a good thing. Need a starting center to replace Jimbo. Yeah, that's true. Our, our size on the starting lineup is lacking. Well, we do have large big man starting now. Hilariously enough. Deshaun Wilson. 11 assists a game. Wow. Wow. Damn. He's pretty good. He did drop significantly from last year, but he's only 24. Oh, he tore his ACL. Dude, oh, that sucks. He was so good, and then he tore his ACL. League assist leader. Oh, my goodness. He was the, no, that was last year. Dude, this is the current league assist leader. That's pretty good. We need that to supplement Mike. Hmm. Give him a bionic ACL. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, that's the risk for sure. After a torn ACL, is he going to be able to come back from that? But that... But if it worked, dude, that would be a hell of a signing. And we could get him. 
Let's see, 18 mil it takes out, so that would leave us with about 15. And if I traded away Andrew Morrison, we could get up to 19, and then who would that leave us to get? We could get, like... We could nearly get Marin at that point. But Marin did drop a little, too. Hmm. So let's try to get Deshaun and Marin, or just sign Caleb now. Two six, two young sixties, or one proven seventy, who's on the way up and didn't tear his ACL, <laughs> and also won the championship last year. Hmm. Star driven league, you take the better player. I think I'm with you, dude. When we got max cast space for a max player, I think we do it. All right. Sign Caleb. There we go. Oh, we're 68 out of 100. Come on. Just give it to me. Just one more point. What do I, I got to get one more point from somewhere. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> This is absolutely unacceptable. Well, first of all, we should simulate like a couple of weeks of free agency so that we can get these guys to really show their actual worth. Might as well go to the end of it, actually. All right, so we got a 50 on the board there. And we have uh, cap space for them, so we could actually just sign them now. But here we go. This click is going to reveal our second stat roll. Once we see the roster page again, we'll know how folks fared for the 2023 preseason. So here we go. Drum roll. I can't roll my tongue. Just pretend I did. Drum roll for the roster reveal for 2023. Oof. Ouch. Oh, our draft picks were great, though. Well, this draft pick was great. Dude, James Jensen. Big boost. James Jensen's our sixth man. He's 20 years old. Oh, my God. But yeah, otherwise, that was a big oof. Oh, boy. Ryan Black dropped five. Caleb Mitchell dropped one. Four over, or yeah, with a four drop in their potential. Oh, yeah, we, we got hit pretty hard on that one. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. All right, we're going to drop... Let's see. That's got to be tiny short, man. Sorry, Tiny Short, man. A short-lived career for you. Ha, ha, ha. Large big man got smaller indeed, yeah. Chaik Kamara. Interesting name. New free agency addition to the squad. Another guard. Yeah, we need some size again, man. Caleb Mitchell, I guess, is it. Well, no, he's not even that big. Andrew Morrison, yeah, that's the one. We gotta rename him. Yeah, young young squad again. We got potential for sure. 61 overall. We're top 10. It's pretty good. Big improvement on the defensive IQ this year, too. That's nice to see. Okay, good. Looks like another 500 team to me. Yeah, it might be. James Jensen is very exciting, though. We made a great pick there. Oh, yeah. Looking at the surrounding picks, especially. He was the way to go. Chance Rice is looking like a great choice, too. Ryan Brantley. Holy cow. Ryan Brantley, plus 22. Good lord, dude. That's insane. He is going to be... I'm going to take a flag for that guy, dude. Worth looking at. Let's take a look at the player ratings. Chib's the best player in the league, dude. Jib, 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 Jib. Number one overall, 77. Holy shit. Holy shit, Jib. 79 from three, wow. Terrifying, dude. George Savage still getting better. Not surprising there. They did extend him through 2027, unfortunately, so... He's sticking around there for a while. Yeah, Chib's only 24, too, dude. He's going to be insane. 
plus six this year. Wow. Look at all those stat boosts. He was already good. He got way better. That's scary, man. Chib is going to be a threat. Trade for him, dude. I wish. Yeah, I don't think I got nearly enough to be able to trade for Chib. Yeah, they're not even going to consider it. They didn't even think about it. Oh, I can't even trade Ryan and Caleb, though. That's probably why. Throw your stockpile picks for Chib. Yeah, I wish. Two firsts from New Jersey, dude, which sucks because that's Chib's team. <laughs> I've got... I've got the picks from the squad that has the best player in the league. That's not really going to help me out that much. Thankfully, they've got a pretty shitty supporting cast. These guys are all pretty old, too. Well, sorry, I didn't mean to insult you with that absurd theory. <laughs> Thankfully, he's got a pretty shitty teammate here. Doesn't have to worry about that. Have to be able to play with Chib. Yeah, it's an honor, man. Right, anyway. Anyway. Any free agents I need to pick up? I, get, I did grab the one guy. Tiny Short Man's actually the best free agent available. Jeez, all right. Well, that's that's an indication of how that pool looks. Oh, we need to rename players. That's the other thing I'm forgetting. Okay, let's go ahead and do one more drawing here. We'll archive that one and we'll make a new one. Folks, go ahead and type pick me as all one word if you'd like to be entered into the drawing now. We're going to rename three players here. We're going to rename Ryan Black, Caleb Mitchell, and Jarrell Young. Actually, let's rename four. Let's rename Andrew Morrison, too. And James Jensen. We're going to rename five, dude. You got great odds here. Great odds here. I guess I should do my... Uh... No, that's enough. The nod doesn't really need one. All right, here we go. Dravarex, congratulations. You're the new former MVP of the league, Ryan Black. Welcome to the squad. Next up, Caleb Mitchell. Gimau. Welcome to the team. As two words. Gimau. There we go. Nitric and soap. I think is how I say that. And soap. I almost did and soup. There. Welcome to the team. No Thor. No Thor. Welcome to the team. And finally, this is an exciting one. You're going to want to be this guy, James Jensen. He's going to blow up, I'm telling you. Awkward moment. That's a good name. Welcome to the squad. Well, if you got a three in your name, we got to put a three as your jersey number, of course. Perfect. There we go. Welcome to the team, everybody. Let's watch our first game. The 20, 20, 20, 2023 season. The Boston Bear Pile versus the Streaks. Let's do it. Yamal with the first shot of the 2023 season. We'll play at the end of the quarter here. Tied 19-19. Looking good to start with. Yamal. Six boards, four assists. Heck of a start there. All right. Second quarter. Up by 11 over the streaks to start off with. Looking good. Dravarex with 14 points, five boards, and five assists. In their first game as a member of the Bear Pile. That's a very impressive stat line. Gimau, two points, six boards, five assists. Still doing great. Ten points for Nitric and Soap. Eight points for No Thor. Awkward moment in their very first NBA game. Three points, two boards. One for three from the field. Pretty, pretty damn good. End of the third here. We're going to be up by three. They actually took a little bit of a comeback from that quarter. Spreading out the offense yet again, Nanad Lukic with 13 off the bench. We might actually have to rename that guy. Can't believe it. Awkward moment going two for four. Two for two from three in their first game in the league. Seven points off the bench, dude. Very nice. And in the final two minutes here, we're going to be up by three. Let's see how it finishes off here. Jamal Stewart hits the layup, and it's going to be 102-101. 
Does miss the free throw and gives us the ball back. Gimau misses the three. Brad Harris with the board. Blocked by Awkward Moment in their first NBA game. Awkward Moment picks up the clutch block in the final two minutes. Memphis does manage another bucket with Reggie Hess. Nitric and Soap bricks the return shot. Reggie Hess misses his attempt but grabs an offensive board. Royce Nelson puts Memphis up by one. Reggie Hess follows it up with another shot. Nitric and Soap attempts a three-pointer, but it's no good. Yamal fouls Reggie Hess, and that's probably going to do it. Dravarex can't hit the three. And we will indeed fall to the streaks for our first game. That's an unfortunate start. Looking at the box scores here, Gimau with a near triple double. God damn, 12, 12, and 8 with two blocks. Very impressive stat line. Dravarex starting off hot, but uh, cooling off a bit at the end of that one. 14 points, 7 and 7. Pretty decent as well. 17 points for Nitric. Awkward moment in their first game. Nine boards, or sorry, nine points, four boards in the block. Impressive stuff. Looking forward to seeing that guy develop. Five fouls for Darren Horton. And that's a yikes. That's a yikes. All right, man. Well, unfortunate to start off the season with a loss, but I feel like we've got some pretty uh, pretty solid performances to take away from that at least. Yeah, Lukic, man, 19 points. Led the team in scoring. I guess we got to rename this motherfucker too. My man has earned a name, and that name is going to be Liber. Liber, and your jersey number is 21 for Liber 21. Welcome in. There you go. All right. Let's sim a week. Four and two, not bad. Dropped a game to the Bebs, but picked up a revenge W over the Streaks. One by three over the uh, the Gieslings. Beat the Sinvicta. Is, is that just the Cinevees? Yeah, by three. And then the uh, Chibli, the Christchurch Chibs. Close games throughout the season so far, man. It's been really tight. Doing well, though. Let's take a look at the finances. Average attendance is looking good. Our hype is probably going to get built back up in a little while here. I'm going to raise that back up to 58. I think our hype's going to be going well uh, soon here. Going up against the Crendors. Pick up a dub. The Minneapolis Junkyards. Another victory. And then the Bebs. Can't pick it up. All right. So that was going to be the tough one. 7-2 to two start would have been phenomenal for me. But we did lose Gimau, unfortunately, for four games with a back spasm. So hopefully we'll be okay here. Another week. Hey, that's looking fantastic. Only dropped a game to the defending champion Chantel's. We actually defeated the next game, too. Very good start here. Darren Horton out for four, unfortunately. Liver's going to be out for a game as well, but 10 and four, that's a great start. Very competitive roster that we fielded here. I'm happy with this. Free agents, probably not. A, or, ooh, Nick Jernigan. A 48-48 who can pass. It's not bad. I think I might have to drop Z-Man. He's 32, I know, but we got we got the space for that. I feel like one, one extra decent player is worthwhile. So I'm going to sign him. It's another point guard, too. I feel like we still need one. Oh, floss three in a row. That's what I get for signing that guy. 13 and 8 now. Kind of a rough week there. Picked up a dub against the Sips and the Cine Vs again. Took down the Alpacas. Lost to the Josh. That's not that surprising, I suppose. The Josh are still the uh, the best team in the league. Yeah. The Wolves are actually up there too, man. 86 at full health. I'm going to have Josh Sway right now, though. I have to start tanking early this time. No, I think we'll be a competitive team this year. Let's go for a month. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness. Much worse than I expected. Big losses there, too, man. Lost by 30 to the Wolves. 40 to the Bebs. Oof. Not what we were looking for there. Gimau out again for a fractured foot. Oh, are you okay? Out of, oh, no wonder we lost so many games, dude. Gimau's out for 30 fucking games. Jesus. Fractured his damn foot. Awkward moment sprained his shoulder, too. Thankfully, only out for a week or so. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, certainly it'll get better from this, right? I mean, without Gimau, we're a lot worse. 
Yeah, we were a sub-500 team without him, dude. Jesus Christ. Catfish Arbiter with a game-winning shot. Nice. Dravericks with another triple dub. You're watching a spreadsheet, Grouch. Isn't it awesome? I think so. Yeah, team rating in the 40s with these injuries is pretty tough. Look at the difference it's going to make with this one guy. The 61 from that. Crazy. Picked up the dub without him, too, thankfully. All right, we got to play the Denver high. Boy, oh, boy. Okay. Anybody make the all-star team from our squad? Yeah, we got Dravarex, of course. That's it, though. Yo, Absurd Theory's still making the all-star squad. Nice. Dravarex up there. All right. All right. We'll have a better... <coughs> Pardon me. We'll have a better second half of the season, right? Right? Right. Here we go. Here we go. Slightly better. Slightly better. 44 and 38 finish. Makes the playoffs. Just, uh, just above the 7th and 8th seeds there. We're going to have to be playing the co-stars to begin with, man. And they are much better. Well, actually, not that much. Only 4 overall in the team rating. Fernando and Tam Tammy versus Dravarix and Gamal. That's actually fairly even. It's a rematch with Ko from Season 1. Yeah, exactly. All right. Let's have a look at the uh, awards races here. Dude, Dravarix actually was in contention for MVP again. If only for Chib not being so damn good. Chib almost won Defensive Player of the Year, too. Jesus Christ. Damn, man. Yeah, no love for us there. I'm actually very surprised that uh, Awkward Moment didn't get any Rookie of the Year consideration. Like, none at all. Yeah, we're just, well, seven points and one and a half boards a game, I guess, is not that good. Welcome back. When you're looking at a guy who got 17 points and two boards a game. Maxwell Padilla is looking really nice. Glorious Grouch. 17 months on the pile. Thank you very much. Welcome on back in. All right, man. Here we go. It's the Cleveland Co-Stars versus the Boston Bear Pile. Game one, round one of the 2023 playoffs, baby. Let's do it. And of the first. Co-Stars up by seven. Gamal 0 for 7 from the floor to start off with. Controlling the boards well. But we're uh, we're struggling from the floor here. 7 of 25 to start off with. Yikes. I have to improve that shooting. Down by 14 at the end of the second. The shooting's gotten a little bit better. Oh, boy. 15 points for Drav. No Thor actually doing pretty well in the scoring, too. Catfish having a bad game. 0 for 4. Not easy with a knackered back and broken foot. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. Darren Horton actually having a great game. All right. End of the third. Yikes. The lead just keeps building. They're up by 18. Yeah, this one's looking out of hand here for us, unfortunately. Not very likely to come back. That's looking like a game one defeat. Nitric and Soap with one for 10 from the game. Yikes. Drav. We got we to get Drav the ball, dude. He can, he can score a lot more than that. Oh, lost by almost 30. Yikes. All right, tell you what. Here's what we're going to do. I mentioned you can't really change, like, the strategies that you play with or anything like that. But here is one thing that we can do to alter the way that uh, the game is played. We can add, or we can uh, tell the coach to increase the playing time for certain players. So we're going to do that for Drav here. We're going to try to get him to play even more minutes than he would normally play. Probably play, like, basically the entire game. He's going to be far and away our best chance at succeeding on offense. So, yeah, we'll do that. We'll see how that goes for game two. Hopefully a little bit better. All right, yeah, we got to play the rest of the day. Here we go. Game two. Even worse. Considerably worse. Drav played the whole first quarter, and it did not go well. Down by 17. Oof. Oh, boy, that's bad. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay, improved a little bit. Drav has played literally the entire game so far. Has not sat a single second. Nine points, four boards, three of 12 from the field. So not great. Yamal, one for eight. Dude, our shooting is abysmal. Good Lord. One for eight, one for six, one for four. 
Holy shit. If we can just pick that up a little bit. We're only down nine. I mean, Jesus, if we can just shoot a little bit better than like 25 fucking percent from the floor. Our three-point shooting is even worse. Four of 21. Good Lord. Yeah, that's clearly been the issue. These are road games. That's true. All right. Fourth quarter. Here we go. Hey, competitive. 96-90. We got the board. Drive up for three. No good. All right. They got the rebound. Fernando Schultz hits a shot. Yeah, they're up nine now. Damn. Nocturnal misses his. Okay, that's it. That's probably it. Gamal with another three. Hits it. Okay, we got a chance. Shooting foul. Joe hits both free throws. Gamal with another three. No good. Certainly a much closer game this time, but yeah, this is looking like it's going to be wrapped up pretty soon. Drav got the ball back. They stole it again. Fernando up with the three. Misses it. Drav with the board. Nitric with a three. No good. Yeah, that's it. Goodness, dude. No Thor. Yeah, 18 rebounds. Holy shit. Three blocks as well. At least that's improving. But yeah, only losing eight or only losing by eight that time does both pretty well. Hopefully that'll uh, lead to some improvements. Improvements next game. All right. I've played five more minutes than Gamal, but had one less point. Yeah, that. I like to believe that he made impacts elsewhere. He did have a zero plus minus, but. I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the plus on there for him. I'm gonna keep him playing extra minutes. I think that's gonna benefit us. I think it did benefit us that game. All right, here we go. Game three. And the first, we're up by five. There we go. Way better, obviously, than the first games. Gimau four of eleven this time. That's a lot better. Oh no, Thor got injured. Fuck me, dude. Still though, we're winning. 50% from the floor, much better shooting this game. Much, much better. Ah, that injury though, that could that could hurt a lot. Six assists for Drava already. All right, here we go. Down 10. All right, they had a much better second. Much better second quarter that time. Gimau is doing a lot better, missing a lot of shots still though, unfortunately, taking a lot of shots. Oh boy. Hey Potter, doing well. Couple of steals there too. All right, got to do better in the third. Did a lot worse in the third. Did so much worse in the third. Holy shit! They obliterated us that quarter. Forty to fourteen. Holy shit! Gamal's having a big game too, dude. Three blocks, two steals, seven to nineteen for sixteen points. Four offensive rebounds. Yeah, without Thor. You could tell, man. They made such a tremendous difference. The first quarter, we were competitive because of Thor. And once he went down, it was all over, man. Shit. Yeah, they're just... They're just obliterating us at this point. Holy cow. What is the... What are they favored by next game? Oh, we're favored. Really? Oh, he's better. It was just a one-day injury. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Thor is our uh, power forward. He's, he's got the size, though. He's 6'10", so that's going to be a big presence. He's 69 rebounding. All right, dude, here we go. Reverse sweep. <coughs> Pardon me. Reverse sweep coming up. Let's see it. Just one game at a time. Let's go. End of the first. Okay, down three. Thor's back in it, though, man. He's making a presence. He, he, his presence is being felt. Three for three for Gimau so far. Very nice. Good shooting so far, actually. We're doing well. They're just doing better. Let's keep going. Down six. Okay. Okay. This is doable. Gimau's shooting a lot better this game. Awkward moments kind of having a rough one. That's not going to help. Ten minutes with basically no contribution. End of the third. Oh, no. Down 14. They lost Cole Smith. I don't think that's really going to matter, though. Also nice. Yeah, we did score 69 points at least. Ah, boy. Schultz, dude. Yeah, holy shit. 
34 and three quarters. Perfect from the line. Four or five from three. Hot damn. He wanted the dub. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We got swept, man. We got swept by the co-stars first round. Jeez. I really thought we had a chance in that third game, too. And they lost two of their starters for that one. Drive playing extra minutes wasn't enough. Damn it, man. Oh, well. Oh, well. Made the playoffs that year. Obviously a big improvement over the tanking year from before. But, all right, let's play through the playoffs then. Let's see how it goes. Into the second round, we got the <clears throat> we got the Drax making a return appearance. Yo, holy hell, what happened to the Chantels? What happened to Phoenix? Holy shit, they fell off the face of the earth. 36 and 46 this year, my God. They got their ring and they bounced. Well, all right then. The Drax and the Skadges. First round, Babs and the Hafus. The Josh return to face the Indies and the Wolves versus the Co-Stars. Let's see it. Close series. Nobody gets swept. Two to two in each of the Western Conference series. The Wolves and the Josh up in the East. And they'll both wrap it up. The Drax and the Hafus one game away apiece. But both games go to seven. Or both series go to seven. Who's it going to be? The Drax and the Babs do end up pulling it out. So the first and second seeds make the finals yet again. All right, here we go. Drax and Babs versus the Wolves and the Josh. The Drax with the sweep over the Babs. My goodness, the Josh up 3-1 to one over the Wolves right now. Wolves grab another game in game five. But the Josh do manage to close it out. They're just too good, man. Look at this playoff performance from the Josh for the first three years of this, of this league. Conference semis, or no, conference finals last year up against the Co-Stars and losing game seven. And before that, of course, they went up against the Bear Pile and defeated us to make the finals, dude. They've made the, the conference finals or the finals every single year so far. Very impressive. No, no championships thus far, unfortunately, for them, though. In fact, it's not looking like it's going to be here either. The Drax with a 2-0 lead to start off with. But the Josh take both at home. And the Josh steal one on the road. Could this finally be the year for the Josh? End of the first, they're up by eight. End of the second, they're up by 10. End of the third, they're up by 15. The pattern holds true. And the Josh take the series. The Pittsburgh Josh are your 2023 basketball GM league champions. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Go Pittsburgh. Finally, they broke through the wall. Exactly. After three years of almost getting there, they, they, they managed to take the chip. Congrats to the Josh. Dravorex, first team all league. Look at that. Well done. Well done. Was that a revenge match from season one? It was. You're right. They got their revenge over the Drax. The Drax have been incredibly consistent, too, so far. Two finals in three years. Very impressive. Transylvania fields some strong players, man. Well, there we go. Traverex on the first team. Good stuff. Let's have a look at the award races and see if anybody else was competing. Nah, that's it. All right. All right. Well, here we go. Hey, we actually get our chart now, finally. So this chart will show up at the end of every year. We'll just give you a quick indication of how you're doing. That's really all it's for. All right. So draft lottery is not going to matter for us this time, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and uh, forward to the draft. Chris Toiloa, though, dude. That's an incredibly good first pick. We might want to trade for that. We have the 23rd and the 28th pick this year, courtesy of New Jersey. Let's see what they want for this. Not going to give it up. Yep, that's not surprising. That's an extremely good first pick. So They didn't take him? What? These guys won't trade me either. 
Yeah, no, that's that's that makes sense. It's the Luca draft again. <laughs> that was a very surprising first pick of John Cherry. I did not expect that. Right. Anyway, Nick Baham is actually pretty damn good too. I don't think I'm willing to trade for him though. All right, there it is. So we probably just take best available player here, and that's going to be Elgin Latham. I don't mind taking a center here. Yeah, that seems fine. Works for me. And we've got the New Jersey pick now. Yet again, best available player, I think, on this one. Yeah, that's Tyler Fulton. All right. And sure, that works. Cool. There we go. Expiring contracts. Nitric and Soap wants four and a half million ish, which we were paying you one and a half million. Hmm. That's probably a good deal. He's been boosting. He's a 60, actually. Yeah, no, that's a great deal. We should definitely do that. No sweat. Nick Jernigan. I think we let you go. Then Catfish Arbiter. He's unfortunately dropped, but you only want two million, so that's okay, too. I got to keep the guys I've named whenever possible. All right. Nobody here looks terrific. Catfish was the big six man this year, last year too. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, those all those are good signings for sure. I don't think I want to necessarily drop anybody at that point. This guy, this guy. Do we want to get him from North Carolina Central? Hell of a school. This guy's pretty damn good. Hmm. What does he want? 22? If we traded Gimau, that would be pretty good for us right now. I'm going to look at options for that. Hold on. Hmm. Whoa. They want to give me Fuller. That's just, he's just better. That's weird. Fuller's really good. And cheaper, right, yeah. And a first? They want Mike too, that's fine though. What? Maybe Fuller doesn't like his team, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's a fucking toxic locker room presence. This is wild, dude. I'll take this. This is a screaming deal. We just dump off Mauricio Mayer. Maybe even keep him. No, we dump him off so we can sign the other guy. No, no, no. We keep Tammy. And maybe even keep Mauricio, yeah. I don't think they'll trade Cole. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't give us Cole. If they would, though, I'd... Be way way better. Hmm. Let's see if they'll do this one. I'd take this deal, dude. Not quite good enough, yeah. Oh. Oh, they want they want our first rounder. Um. Hmm. To get Cole, who I actually want to keep instead of Mauricio May. Well, they don't want our first round picks. They want our, like the guy that I actually picked with my first round pick this year. That's who they want. Which is not bad because this is like basically the same value here. This guy could be good, though, is the thing. But it's a gamble, really. Um, I, I strongly think I should take this. Yeah, maybe we could do this. Hold on. Maybe they do that. Will this work? No, they still want Elgin. What if you can't have Elgin? How about that? Then you want Anthony. That's not bad. They probably don't even need the second rounder. I prefer that to trading Elgin. Let's do that. That's a good deal. All right, cool. We did it. That was a, gr a great trade, dude. That's not at all what I expected to get out of that. Anthony's already 22. I don't think he's going to develop anymore. 
That's that's not true. <laughs> when I heard myself say that out loud, I was like, no, he's got plenty of time to develop still. What are you talking about? He's 22 years old. He's super young. Yeah, we do need a center at some point too. Darren Horton's our best center at the moment, and that's obviously not ideal. Can Cole play center? Uh, not really. It did sound wrong. Yeah, no, it was wrong. Um, I think we keep this team for now. Because the free agent was Nathan Ford, right? Yeah, he's a 67, 68. If we... If we traded Cole... Nocturnal... No, it's too much. It's too much work. We're giving up too much. Any centers in free agency? There might be after we... Oh, there's this guy. Dominique Abo. You have returned. Lord Blendy. Thanks for the 15 months. Welcome on back in. 22 is just way past his prime. Yeah, no, he's already... He's already washed up. Yeah, he looks pretty good. He's only 15 mil. We could actually, we could trade, uh, like what we were gonna do, we could trade Colin Nocturnal, and then we could get that guy. That's not a bad idea. Let's see what we can get for those two. Those two are still young, keep in mind too, as well, 26 and 24. I mean, 26, he's basically dead, but. <laughs> A first from the Apollos. Hmm. Twenty six. I must be using a walker yet. <laughs> hey, how about this? This gets us the cap, the cap space, a first and a second. It's pretty good. These could be actually decent. Like, the their next year pick might actually be pretty good. They're not a good team. They'll get better with Cole and Nocturnal. But these two might get worse. I like this. Let's do this. I don't even need this guy. Don't even want to bother. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Now we got the roster spot. And we're going to sign Dominic. Oh, I have fucking... Oh, shit. I'm like... Actually, like, thousands of dollars away from being able to sign him. Like, money that I could, like, pool from my... From my teammates, maybe. Or from my fellow owners. Can I just have a small loan of $40,000, please? Negotiate doesn't let you go down on the salary, unfortunately. It only the the negotiate only. Uh, uh, well, here I'll just show you. You just get an option of the length, pretty much. You can't mess with the amount. So we'll just have to release somebody, or we can take a gamble on his price going down if we wait a day in free agency. And I probably could do that because he's not the top offering. He is up there. He's one of the best players in free agency right now, but I feel like I could probably wait. Why don't we just, hold on. Ah, oh, he's way worse. Never mind. No, we want to get Dominic. Okay, I'm going to do it. We're going to wait one day. Oops, that's not what I wanted, shit. Oh, I have to end the contract negotiation, shit. Because I started it, I have to end it. And I think if I ended it, it might increase his price. Ah, shit. I think I messed, I messed this up. All right. I'm just going to have to release this guy. That's fine. That's fine. There. All right. We got him. Dominic signed. We're at a 67 now. That's pretty good. We haven't hit the stat roll yet, though, so we might get worse. But hopefully... I mean, we got young players, so I'm really hoping that we get better. Okay. That was a good, that was a good off season for us, for sure. I'm very pleased with that. We got what we needed. Let's roll the dice. All right, we need the bear lux, y'all. Cross them fingers, get the bear lux. 
for our third stat roll for the funnest part of the game. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I should probably change Brett, drive back to normal playing time, too. Here we go, dude. Big money, no whammies, and stop. Okay. Okay. Awkward moment got better. That's big. This is this okay. We're not thrilled with this. We haven't we haven't gotten like a very good roll yet, but we, this is this is not bad. The the young players got much better, and that's actually huge. That is that is very good. Yeah, somehow you took a boost at 34 years old. That's fucking nuts. <laughs> very impressive. That helps. Yeah, awkward moment at a 72 overall potential though. That's super good. Yeah, a lot of guys down here ended up going down, which sucks. Large big man is now very bad, unfortunately. <laughs> very, very bad. Okay. Yeah, our draft picks aren't that good either. We should rename them anyway, though. Might as well. I feel like I should rename all the draft picks because that's fun. Uh, so I'll just take them from the, the role we already did. So let's go with uh, just J-Bomb. There we go. Welcome to the squad. And then... Oceans 007. Welcome to the team. There we go. Good stuff. All right. You know, I think I'm actually going to wrap up pretty soon here, Runt. Got a good couple of seasons of basketball GM underway today. That was a lot of fun. That was good stuff. All right. Yay, basketball GM. I like it. I like it a lot. It's fun. We got a good team to start the next season with, too. Look at this. We're top six. Tied with the Indies and the Junkyards and the Corys. Damn. We're going to be competitive next year. The Josh is still just fucking nuts, though, man. They're still so good. Who's the best player in the league right now? Still Chip. Dude, Chip got even better. Chip got way better. Holy shit, man. Chip is nuts. Chip was the MVP last year and, like, improved dramatically. Damn. Oh, he is scary. What was he putting up? Like, 25, 6, and 5. Jesus. With two steals, a block, and a half a game. He's Giannis, yeah, for real. How's Awkward Moment looking? Oh, yeah, I forgot he's 100 speed, dude. That's so exciting. Yeah, he's looking really good. He's going to get even better. Better and better. Sick. Okay. Whoa, what the hell? Dude, Tiny Short Man with the resurgence. I got to re-sign him. Oh, shit. He only wants seven eighty a year. Big money. I got to drop somebody. I got to drop large. I got to drop large big man for tiny short man. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I actually had to, I had to trade him away because I didn't. I don't have the camera space. Not the camera space. What am I saying? The, uh, I saw this guy's name. The, uh, the, the Im not inventory. The roster space. That's the word. I got to get somebody to take this Darren Horton contract real quick. Hold on. And now that I've started be playing basketball GM, I can't stop. Uh, someone's going to be able to take this. There we go. Yeah, we're just going to give him, give this guy away. There we go. And now we've got that. Sick. Now I just I, I had to I had to make a tiny extra bit of cap space uh, to be able to sign him because he was slightly over the vet minimum. He wants seven eighty, not seven fifty. Large big man should make space for two tiny short men. I know, right? Yeah, traded for cash considerations exactly. Oh baby, okay. Well, tiny short man's back on the roster. That's fun. Right, that will do it though. That will wrap up the basketball GM for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It's so much fun playing this. I'm, I'm looking forward to much more of this in the future. It's a good time. Um, I've only draft. Yeah, I've only got one starter that I drafted myself. Everybody else is just free agents and trades. Yeah, man. I'm not homegrown here, are we? 
But yeah, thanks so much for being here, folks. That was a lot of fun. I really appreciate your time.